This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Monday, November 16th, 2009, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. It is one of those days where our cup is overflowing with fast swims to talk about. 16 world records were set at the Berlin stop of the FINA World Cup this weekend. 10 on Sunday alone. We don't have time for all of them, so we'll just touch on some highlights. And we start with the new king of Germany, Paul Biederman. He's just ridiculous right now. 332.77 in the 400 free. His last 50 was faster than his first 50. And so much for that highly touted rematch in the 200 free. Biederman blasted a 139.3, came home in 24.9, second and a half faster than the old record. Meanwhile, Michael Phelps obviously did not bring his A game to the World Cup meets didn't even make the final in the 200 free. Now Phelps did final in the 2 IM, but he had to settle for second. It was South Africa's Darian Townsend winning in a world record time, clipping Ryan Lochte's old record by 1 100th of a second. Townsend's time, 151.55. Another absurdly fast swim from China's Lu Jiga, who clocked a 2007 in the women's 200 fly, almost two seconds faster than her old world record, which she set just last week in Stockholm. And finally, we cannot forget one of the best showdowns in Berlin, the women's 100 breaststroke. Liesl Jones wants to win our poll question of the week, obviously. The Aussie reeled in Jessica Hardy on the last 25, touching at 103.00, three tenths ahead of Hardy, both were well under the old world record. Now, Hardy is still the clear favorite to win the overall point total for the World Cup Series, with just the Singapore meet left on the schedule. Hardy has a nearly 40-point lead over Therese Alsamer. Cameron Vanderberg from South Africa now leading on the men's side, and he could repeat as the overall winner for the second straight year. The overall points winners, by the way, get a $100,000 bonus. Not bad. While everyone was focused on the world records in Berlin, there were some absolutely sensational high school swims here in the U.S. over the weekend. Let's start with Dagny Knudsen, who just blew away any argument that she was just so fast last year because of the high-tech suits. Wearing just a textile suit in the prelims of the 200 IM on Friday at the North Dakota High School State Championships, Knudsen swam a 153.82, erasing Mary Beck's old national high school record of 155.79. Even more astounding, Knudsen's time puts her within a second of Julia Smith's American record in the 200 IM, which was set in March at the NCAA Championships in a high-tech suit. Now, in that same prelim session, Knudsen swam a 48.15 in the 100 free to lower her own national high school record, of 48.33. She set that last year, leading off a relay. This gives Knudsen four total national high school records in addition to the 2 IM and 100 free. She also has the 200 free and 500 free national high school record. All right, equally impressive, and that's obviously saying a lot, was one of the relays put together by the Bowles boys in Florida. Their 200 medley relay broke a 17-year-old national high school record on Saturday at the Florida High School State Championships. The foursome of Ryan Murphy, Sergio Lujan Rivera, Timmy Romano, and Tommy Gutman swam a 129.79 to take more than a second off the record set back in 1992 by the Mercersburg Academy. Murphy split a 22.32 on the back, Rivera's breaststroke 24.37, Romano 22-3 on the fly, and Gutman anchored the relay with a 19-7. Many other states held high school championships last weekend. We'll have recaps of all of them on our high school channel at swimmingworld.com. All right, more fast swimming took place at the first stop of the USA Swimming Grand Prix Series in Minneapolis. Some of the top swims included Chloe Sutton winning the 1,000 in 16.50 ahead of Kate Ziegler. Brazilian Tiago Pereira swept the IMs as well as the 200 breaststroke. Will Copeland, he won the 50, 100, and 200 freestyles. And Rebecca Sony won both breaststrokes and the 400 IM. You can read recaps of all three days at swimmingworld.com. In college news, Maggie Meyer of Wisconsin posted the only NCAA championship A cut, a cut of the weekend. She swam a 53-01 in the 100 back to, uh, to win Wisconsin's 
dual meet matchup with Northwestern. We'll have more results again on our college channel at SwimmingWorld.com. Finally, in diving news today, Haley Ishimatsu, who represented the U.S. in platform diving at the Olympics and World Championships, will attend Duke University next fall. Duke already has a couple of top-line divers, including freshman Nick McCrory and sophomore Abby Johnston. Haley will likely compete at the NCAAs with her big sister, Victoria, who's a sophomore at USC. And that is it for our news today. Told you there was a lot to go over. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.